Good evening and welcome to Twin State Sports. I'm Zach Seminar. Fresh off of a three-game sweep to capture the Cancun Challenge title, the Mississippi State women's basketball team has creeped up one spot in the latest AP Top 25 poll. Bulldogs jumped UCLA after the Bruins suffered their first loss of the year. This is the 59th straight week that the Dogs have been ranked inside the Top 25. MSU is coming off wins over 24th ranked Arizona State and Green Bay, who was receiving votes at the time. The Bulldogs next have a neutral site game with Louisiana Lafayette that will be played in Jackson tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. It's not even been a full 48 hours since Dan Mullen has left town, but Mississippi State could be closing in, wrapping up their job search. According to sources, the Bulldogs have wired their search down to three finalists and they're targeting these three guys. That includes Penn State Offensive Coordinator Joe Moorhead, Alabama Defensive Coordinator Jeremy Pruitt, and SMU Head Coach Chad Morris. He's also been mentioned. At this time, it appears that Pruitt and Moorhead are the school's favorites. The SEC has announced the members of this year's community service team, and that includes Ole Miss's Javon Patterson. Patterson is a three-year starter, and he's volunteered his time with Special Olympics. He also has taken time to visit students at Oxford and Lafayette Elementary Schools twice a semester to share his experiences and interact with the young students. The Petal High School grad has also participated in Read Across America Day, and he's visited patients at the Children's Hospital of Jackson. Mississippi State wide receiver who you see there, Gabe Miles, was the Bulldogs representative on the list. For the first time since February, golf great Tiger Woods returning to the links at the Hero World Challenge in the Bahamas. 41-year-old has battled back problems over the past three and a half years and has limited him to just 19 worldwide starts, 10 of which he either failed to make the cut or withdrew early because of injury. The last time Tiger has won a PGA Tour sanctioned event way back in 2013, he's ranked 1,199th in the world. He played a nine-hole practice round today, and he's glad to be back on the links pain-free. You know, I'm not going to be dunking a basketball anytime soon, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm able to live life without any lower back pain or any kind, any kind of zinging down my leg or my f have foot drop. I don't have any of those issues anymore. Last two prior, the, um, when I've come back at this event, at the Hero World Challenge, um, I... At our worth, as I said, I was still struggling. Last year, I was still struggling a little bit. And then this year is night and day. The school board in LeBron James' Ohio hometown has approved a plan for a public school to be created in partnership with the NBA Stars Foundation. LeBron James Family Foundation says the I Promise School in Akron will be geared toward educating students who are at risk of falling behind. It will have longer days and begin classes in the summer weeks before other district schools to encourage information retention. It's scheduled to open next fall for the third and fourth graders. They'll add more grade levels in the future. A New York-based production company says it will also begin filming a documentary series centered around the school and its partnership with King James, who's one of the most scrutinized players in all of sports. And people say, do more, do more, LeBron. Well, Here, you go. Here you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just Tough. to have that foundation, and I'm sure they're doing great work every day that we're not reporting about. You know. Well, we'll see in this documentary, I'm sure. 